Yo, what's up, guys? Um, today I'm gonna be discussing the most annoying glitch, probably to ever exist in the Tower Defense Simulator. Well, I don't know if it's a glitch per se, or if it's intentional, but it's really, really annoying. I'm sure all of you guys know about the accelerator's charge up and how it takes. 10,000 years. Um, yeah. That's probably the most annoying glitch. People, or, like, me, who are trying to speedrun games most times. I'm not speedrunning right now, by the way. That's why my guy replacement is awful. Um, why is this glitch slash intentional thing? I don't honestly know. Annoying? Well, because when you're trying to play a game, say, and you have fast enemies, like, shocks, or even stuff like speedies, for instance, or speedy bosses. You rely on accelerator for the good DPS output that you would want, obviously. And what happens is the accelerator, if say if I have it placed here and the range is this big, the accelerator won't target stuff until the enemy steps here. And then it proceeds to do its 10,000 hour charge up time. And that's really, it kind of defeats the purpose of having a tower that good. Um, I'm cool, one speedy, I love this game. Um, uh, main issue I struggle to see with this is it's like it has a dead zone where it has a range, and that has a range where it actually detects enemies inside of it. Kind of like Engineer has the range where it places sentries, and then it has its shooting range. Um, I just, I find it really annoying when I'm, I feel like a lot, I get a lot of people tell me it's one of the most annoying parts about TDS, is just accelerating in general. Is DPS is really good, I'm not complaining about that. Um, it's just, it's the targeting. And the fact that if you have a slow boss here, and there's a speedy boss here, if the accelerators are locked on to the slow boss, and they kill it, sometimes it will target a different slow boss that is here, instead of the speedy boss that is probably about to kill you. Which is also probably really annoying. I have had recently numerous games on Solo Fallen, where I've survived with like 20 health from like shocks and stuff getting through with like... 20 health and um you'll be able to see my point in a second once i have max over in a decent spot it doesn't do it with slower enemies i find slower enemies it's really decent at it's anything that's a faster enemy like speedies for instance there's also with just the charge up time in general like right there that was really really annoying the accelerator like what is this charge up time it didn't even kill a single speedy because of the charge up time. And I know we have DJ, which boosts its range, but it shouldn't have to be boosted range to target stuff. Like for instance, this is in the accelerator's range. It's just recognizing it here. It should be recognizing it the second it enters the range, not about five seconds after it enters the range. Because if you look at every other tower in the game, the second they're inside of the range, it starts shooting. But with this tower, it just doesn't. It waits like five to ten seconds. It's like it has a dead zone, or like if I'm most familiar with speedrunning Mario games, uh, it's like the Death Stare kind of from Mr. Mario Bros. It just it's like it's pure RNG. Whether your accelerator will charge up in time or do something like that, and it's probably I, I deal with a lot of other glitches without complaining, and I mean a lot of other glitches. I would run them on the screen, but that would take a billion years in this game. But that's by far the most annoying thing I've ever had to deal with when playing this game. Also, come on game, 3 health, really? Accelerator's range, if they're going to keep it like this, should at least be made slightly larger. So it can target the tower correctly. And, don't, and not have any issues with it. 
I realize this is just like a five minute video at this point of just me ranting about this stupid thing in TDS. So um, I'm gonna stop now. You know the drill, like and sub for a cookie, and I'll see y'all in the next video.